Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show, and I got another fantastic radio from Jeff's collection. I think he's got more radios than I do now, and I have over 400 radios. This one is very unique. You'll probably never find one of these. I don't know how he found it. This is an Arvin medium wave A transistor radio. Very unique, pristine condition. There's the tuning knob, carrying strap, kind of unique. On off volume, earbud jack. And it has a kind of built in leather case. And I'll show you what I mean. Plus, it requires a very unique battery. Here it is, right there. This is a nine volt tubular battery. Jeff paid five dollars for the radio and nineteen dollars including shipping for the battery. Nineteen dollars for the battery. So I'm going to try and install that battery for you right now. You take it out of the box. I don't think it's rechargeable. I didn't see any indication that it was rechargeable. There it is. 9 volt al no, alcon battery, yeah. Take it out of the bag here. Got to be careful. We can do everything just right because this is really unique. Okay, we'll put that aside. Now, let me show you the radio. Okay, I was looking around this radio I'm like, how do you get that case off? Well, I saw some little... Uh, scratches here. I thought, well, that must be it. So, I put my finger down here, and I pulled on that, and boom! Look at that. It, that is the back of the radio. I think that is all one piece. It only comes apart. Here's the innards of the, bat of the radio. This is where the battery goes. And we're going to try to use it so I insert that battery. He's got it marked real well for the polarity. Let me get it off camera so I can read the polarity. And I see a big plus sign and a big negative. And the battery has polarity also. So I'm going to plug that in. Okay. There's the battery in place. Now, uh, see the battery goes down to bottom. So we'll, whoop, very carefully put the case back on. Snap it in place. There it snaps right in place. Now we'll see if I can turn it on. Yeah. Because it's medium wave, got a built in antenna, it's very directional. There's the tuning marker right there. Let's slide all the way down to the end. Okay, now we'll move up slowly. Pick it up noise in my office. When we find a station, I'll move it around. Should be one right about there. Now, take. Turn it. Yeah, not doing too good in my office, which is kind of normal for an AM radio in my office. There we go. Yeah, see that? Just turn it a little bit, you get nothing but noise. Good, good audio. Perfect condition. Let's see. It wants to be that direction. So let's leave it there. There's another station. Really struggling. There's a good one.
healing properties from your own. So it's doing fine in my office as well as any other medium wave radio. Oop, missed that one. Plenty of volume. Good, good audio. It's not uh, tinny. Okay, that's about it. Oops, let's see. Oop, wrong way. There, it finally clicked. Okay, this is really unique. A wood grain, uh, yeah, leather green back is the back. <laughs> so there's, there's you, you, you can't take this case here off and leave it off. You can't do that. That's about it. I want to thank Jeff for loaning me these radios. This one is very unique. I, If you've ever seen one of these or own one, let us know because this is very unique. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up and have a great day. Bye-bye.